verdict in the case of Hollywood star Jonathan Majors. A jury has found him guilty of some charges in this New York criminal case, which stems, of course, from a domestic incident with his former girlfriend. Yeah, Majors is best known for his roles in Marvel films and TV shows, along with Creed 3. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you clicking the link to this episode. On today's video, we're going to be talking about this breaking news of Jonathan Majors being found guilty in his assault charge against his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend, Grace Jones. Now, without further ado, I'm going to read something from CNN who basically broke this story a little bit before three o'clock today. A jury found actor Jonathan Majors guilty on two of four counts in the New York criminal case stemming from a domestic dispute with his former girlfriend. Majors was convicted on Monday of one count of reckless assault in the third degree and a non-criminal charge of harassment as a violation. He was acquitted on other assault charges, one count of aggravated harassment. His sentencing is scheduled for February the 6th next year, which he can face up to a year in prison, which we all know that's not really going to happen. But should this trial, should have even happened based upon these misdemeanor charges a lot of people say you know um if john jonathan lewis an unknown person would have had these charges he probably would have got a fine court uh, probation and so forth and so on bam you know um wouldn't probably be a trial but this is a celebrity case and jonathan majors not only is he a celebrity he's a black man you know, and we all understand what black men go through in this legal system or when it has to do with, eh, say, a white woman, you know, or any woman. Um, the thing about being a black man in America is Hollywood feminism and a lot of these women out here try to emasculate the black man. If he is not in a dress, he is being addressed in this shape form and fashion the thing is i don't think jonathan majors did anything wrong um as far as this whole case goes i don't know what he was doing with her previous before um before this all came about he very well could have been putting his hands on her or what have you but in this case it didn't it didn't even though we wasn't in the courtroom like you know say um Johnny Depp and other celebrities we wasn't in the courtroom so we couldn't we I would say we did not get the intricate you know details of everything but from what was released to the public about you know what was going on with him and her where they basically said he uh, made it seem as if he was um threatening her in a, a an audio video i mean an audio recording that you guys can go down in the description box and look at my video on that i'm putting it out right after i put this out because i was going to put that out today where he was talking about um basically her needing to support him like coretta scott king support um martin luther king and barack obama's wife michelle obama support him y'all please please it's going to be at the end of this video where you can just hit it, but the link is in the description as well, where, you know, he was basically being very, very stern with her. He did not raise his voice and he was letting, you know, his ex-girlfriend know, you know, what position he is in right now. And he don't really need her to purport herself in the way and manner in which she was being drunk and in public and doing this and doing that. We don't need that in this household. We don't need to disturb this house. And I heard a masculine man laying the law to his girlfriend um i didn't hear any violence in his voice i didn't hear anything maybe he was a little weird but hey man he 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 basically was reiterating to her about the plan that they have you know um of him being this upstart in hollywood and he does not need that now a lot of other things that was in text messages 
that could have been taken out of context that we heard um, him telling her not to go to the hospital because of who I am, so forth and so on. You guys can have your own opinions on that. But what I seen in the video of him getting out of that car and yeah, he did pick her up and try to put her back in the car. But other than that, I think he was trying to get away from her, which we all seen. We all seen this. He was trying to get away from this girl and he was he started running with what, what they tell us man in this me too era look if she hit you just run away and that's what my man did he just ran away and she chased him and he's trying to get away from her so you know it um it surprised me that he did get a guilty charge um or a guilty verdict on any of these charges you know um I don't know what was said in the in in the court. Um, when you put a white woman on the stand and she starts crying, a lot can come from that. You know what I mean? Especially if, against a big black man. You know what I mean? But to each his own. The thing is, you know what's going to happen though. She's going to sue him now, and she has grounds to sue him on. Now um, that's going to happen. It's layers to this. It's not just a black man and a white man thing like. The media or social media or, you know, the the news outlets want to make it seem like or black people want to make it seem. The thing is, man, it's levels to this. That is a component. And I'm going to speak on that as well. That is a component. But that's not the overall reaching um, thing here. That's that's not overall. Overall is when you're a celebrity, when you're a celebrity, you need to literally watch who you spend your private time with because this girl supposed to have been his girlfriend was recording him who did that that we found out in the court case amber heard was recording her husband johnny depp for years it seemed like um and shout out to johnny depp for winning his but look what happened Johnny Depp won his. He got to quit it. He got to quit it, you guys. Jonathan made a, I mean, he got to quit it the two charges, but anything guilty is just going to ruin his career if it hasn't ruined his career already. See? Marvel is going to drop him. Marvel is on the phone with his managers right now, and his managers is trying to salvage something. Marvel is going to drop him. No one is going to want to touch him. Is it over completely? I don't think it's over completely, but he's going to have an uphill battle to get back to where he were, where he was. And man, he's going to have, it's going to be a movie or, or something that, that he just does great in, you know, um, and they can't deny him. And he got to win an Oscar to, to get back in the good graces of Hollywood because they're not messing with this Me Too thing anymore. You know what I mean? They're not, they're not doing it. They're not tolerating it, man, especially from a black man. And the thing is, it's, it's layers. The next layer would be a black man and just charges, period. A black man just getting charged with anything in this country he is um he's at an uphill advantage not only that the third layer here a black man with a white woman the thing is man um i try to tell people don't look at a situation as being, you know, I don't want to mess with a white person because of this, because of that. Sometimes you got to be cautious, though. You see what I'm saying? You have to be cautious about the things that you partake in. You see, if I had a son, I would tell my son, look, um, when you get pulled over by the police, you need to do X, Y and Z and do it in that order. Am I saying that? All police officers are going to give you a hard time and all of this because you're black. Now, nah, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, as a black man, you have to be cautious about certain interactions. And am I saying that all white women would do this? No, I'm not. But if you are dealing with a white woman as a black man, just be mindful 
of what can be perceived in certain ways. You have to, period. Even if she don't even want it to go that route. You have other people on the outside that will take it that route. Um, this right here. And the, the, the third layer or fourth is just dealing with women, period. When you're a high value man, you have to vet these women. This woman was crazy. She was crazy. Yes, she was. She was crazy. And when they came in and she's on the floor looking all which away. And then she chased this man. She chased this black man down the street. She went to the club and banged her head. Look, look bruh. I'm trying to tell you. Just you watch who you messing with if you're a high value man. Okay. Um. I'm just going to have some last words on this. And I want you guys to go in the comment section and tell me what you think. Um, I'm going to say this, man. I don't usually, you know, um, report on these celebrity things. Um, I, 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 my focus, my channel, and if you guys are new here, my channel focuses in on the pushing and glorification of single motherhood onto the black community. My focus is on making sure that our young girls aren't looking at men as being something that they don't need. You see, my focus on this channel is to bring back masculinity and get rid of this term toxic masculinity, you know, because it's no such thing as toxic masculinity. You put your hands on a woman, you're lacking masculinity, you know. And I thought this case, uh, I should speak on it because of masculinity being tested, masculinity being denied. And what I heard on the video, which you guys can please go down in the description box or as soon as this video is over, click the video um, on the end screen where I talk about um, how they tried to make this man who is masculine and telling his woman what he needs from her they made that to be a domestic violence thing when it was just a man asserting his masculinity but that's all I got I hope Jonathan Majors do find a way to make it back um, with his career and hopefully Marvel just nah Marvel gonna drop him uh, they gonna drop him Y'all go down in the comment section, tell me what you think of this case, and, you know, um, what are your thoughts on the whole situation, all right? Y'all stay unplugged from false narratives. I am Dutch the Creator, and this is the Black Non-Democrat YouTube channel. Peace. Catch you guys on the next one.